Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a little modification on our new Adria Twin. And so I've got a few mods coming up um, in, over the next year. And I thought I'd just do a vlog on the modifications to show you um, how I'm doing it. So the first one I'm going to be doing is for the diesel heater system. And I'm going to be fitting a new control panel, which is the Webstow um, diesel heater. And I'll just open this up to show you. And I'm going to be and I'm going to be fitting this new display, which is a digital display, which gives you much better control, hopefully, over the room temperature, because you'll be able to set what temperature you want. Um, and I believe you can also put it on vent, but I've never tried that yet. And it takes away, which I'll show you later, the thermostat system that's on the van, um, where it's just a rear stat, which isn't great, because you sort of set it, it gets too hot, you bring it down a little bit, and you never know exactly what temperature you're doing. The installation of this, I'm going to be following a an instruction PDF which is written by John Morgan um, and if you go to Facebook and find the Adria Twin Facebook group which is a really really good group and if you don't belong to it you should join up because for these vans um, it, it's a good group of people that are showing you modifications or problems of having the vans and how to find it well on the Adria Twin Facebook group if you go to if you join the group and go to the files you'll find a PDF instruction on how to install this so I'm not going to take any credit for how to, um, to install it because all the PDFs there I'm just going to show you um, how it's done via a video rather than the PDF so it's just um, jumping on top of what John's already done so on the bedroom area up in this cupboard here which I haven't taken apart yet apparently there's a wiring loom in here which this new thermostat this plug in the thermostat will just plug into and then this Will go on here which I'm probably going to stick on with some Gorilla um, double-sided tape rather than doing any drilling so the first thing we've got to do is to take this panel off and I'll just open this cupboard up and show you that right so these panels are uh, screwed in place normally the front one is which I worked at by the TV area by a metal bracket which is screwed to this and then screwed to the panel here and the way you're going to access into this area is by taking these white connections off here see that one now and there's probably one up there as well don't believe this oh it's not there no let's get these out so there's three white caps that you just pull off easily and that leaves you with three screws on this side panel and so you take them screws out and then this side panel should come out now on this one it should be quite easy to take out because it's not going to hit on these if you're doing a tv one you do have to take this bracket off or take this this um, door off so that you can get this out because it hits on this bracket but this one looks much easier so i'm going to undo these three screws and then take this cover out right so i've got the panel out it's a bit awkward when you've got the screws out and um, the panel's quite tight in there so putting a screwdriver in the top um black connect part which is that one there just put your screw in there and give it a little pull um you'll get this panel out and that's the panel that we've just taken out and that gets you then to the back of this cupboard and all the wiring loom and the cable we're looking for which will have webster webster on, on on it there you should have an off piece coming out and it's labeled up the thermo call diagnose which is the plug that we're going to plug our new controller in so that's the wiring loom sorted out to find out where that is right so our next job is going to be to take this panel off to unplug this before we plug in our new controller and before we do that i'm going to switch the van off so that everything hopefully within here is dead apart from the supply so the first thing is to undo these four black screws just a little thing with mine just to show you because i've taken the four screws out and the panel still won't come off um, so i've had to take this off the well heater system the covering because what they've done is they've screwed these two screws which hold this in uh, but they've gone through and hit into the main bodywork of the van um, so i'm going to take these two out to get this off so if you're finding that you can't get it off because it's tight you have to get a little tiny screwdriver around the bottom of these or top to unclip this and you'll find these two screws to take that panel off right and so that's the panel off and all we're doing is unplugging this one cable here so this makes this then um, obsolete and not not used anymore 
All right, so there you go, that's the plug out. It just pulls out, there's no, um, there's nothing you've got to push or anything to pull these out. It's just got, there's just a friction, friction fit. So all I'm gonna do now is cable tie that and tape over the ends. So there's no, no way of anything accidentally connecting into that, which you shouldn't do. It's quite a big hole up there. Um, and then that's put all this panel back. Right, before I put that front panel back, I'm going to um, connect up the new uh, power, uh, the control panel onto this connection um, and give the heat of the system a, a trial before I end up putting everything back and if there's anything wrong with this then I've got to take it all back out again. So for doing this, all we need to do is make sure we've got the right um, wiring loom with the thermo called diagnose or diagnostic, which is probably a diagnostic plug. Um, and then be able to plug these two together with the new control panel. And when I plug it in, the control panel is just lit up. And then we can go through the instructions now on setting this up and then making sure that the heating system works okay. All right, so I've tested it now and it's running okay. Um, I haven't gone through the full control setup. When you first turn it on, you have to set the date and the time. Um, and then the green button the on off button up there where it's green that means um i'm pretty sure that means uh, start up straight away which it has done um if you press the middle button to go up to the top you can then set the speed of the fans so it's three bar two bar or one bar for speed and i think if you push it again and again you can then te change the temperature up or down to the room temperature you want and then press the button again and that should be set I'm like I say gone through the menu now this is just a test that it actually works so with all this connected up as it is and with that front panel disconnected um, the heating systems up and running so at least now all I've got to do is pull it back and um, one of the things they do give you is some sticky pads so I'm got to use my grillo thing I can just use that and um, so now it's a matter of sticking this on the wall putting all the panels back and then giving it a test for a couple of days. All right guys, so <clears throat> the heating panels have yeah, been working for our overnight stop because we've, we've gone away for uh, one night to give it a trial as well. Um, and it's been absolutely brilliant. It works flawlessly. Um, and yes, yeah, so I can't fault it really. And it's really nice to have it in the bedroom area. And it's nice to be able to adjust it by one degrees rather than the original thermostat at the front where you had to, where you never know what, what sort of temperature you're setting it to. <clears throat> so to turn it on, just to show you, from what I know so far is when you first set, turn it on and plug it in it asks you the time and date so you set up the time and date but then you push the button here to turn it on and you get a, a green light the green the, the green light there means that the heat heating's now started um, and you can push the button here to turn the fans from two to three or back to two and you go down to one um, and that allows the speed of the fan and then push it button again don't bother pushing it on this one because that sets the timer up. Push it again and then you can adjust the temperature of the room and then push it and there's, that, that's set. So if you want to change the temperature, sorry, if you want to change the temperature, you just turn the dial and then push the button and it's set. Um, if you hold your finger on the button, it turns it off and then you can set it to ventilation if you want to use ventilation or a timer if you want to set a timer for when it comes, I think it believes when it comes on. Um, we haven't really used the timer because we don't need it. Um, we ain't going to use the ventilation either because I don't see the point of having the fans running which is where I'm turning the fans when I can just open the window so that's not really going to be used either so if you turn it on, if you do turn it on to ventilation push ventilation and set what level you want it goes blue and when the light's blue that means that when they're running on the fans just running as ventilation with no heating running all right so when you push it back so it's white and you leave it it should go off again and shut down to a black screen so you don't have it on all, all night and um, we don't really run it at night at the moment because it's not that um, cold around here. And that's basically it really. Um, there is supposed to be a quick start, I think you can just push it like that. And, and then it starts up straight away and heating, push it again, turns it off again. And that's basically it for the controls, what we know. Um, but it works really well. So yeah, well worth the money. It's an easy fit as you saw. Um, and it's a much better system, a, a control of the heating system than the original thermostat. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's a little tiny um, setup of the heating system. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll try and get on to do another video of any other mods that we're going to be doing around our little new van.